Good morning everyone and welcome to Get Real with Nada. I am so happy you're all here with me again today. Um, and today I'm here for a special message on Monday. You know, all of us have been through a relatively tough year this past year with the pandemic and most of us have been feeling what Adam Grant has coined languishing. We've been languishing. The term actually means that you kind of wake up and you're not super motivated for the tasks you have ahead of you. You know, you're, um, you are, it's not like you're depressed or anything, but it's just your energy level is lower than it normally is. And it's, it's a term that a lot of people can relate to right now, um, especially after having been in months of lockdown and not socializing as much. And potentially working really, really hard. And what that has led us to maybe disconnecting with people and doing a lot of things that brought joy into our lives and therefore has brought a, this sharp dip in motivation. So if you're feeling that because of this pandemic or for any other reason, if you feel you're stuck, I have a special message for you today. It is to try to do something different. So instead of getting stuck in the routine and just trying harder and making yourself think that you just have to pull in all-nighters, you have to pull in more hours to make this work, just take a break and ask yourself, what is that you can do differently here? So here's my challenge for the week. Do something different. Do something that makes you stand out. Something that even at point goes against common sense or conventional wisdom. Try something completely new. Bring new energy to your tasks and just be creative. Bring new light to a topic. Help people see things from a different angle. So let me give you an example. If you have a presentation ahead of you and if you're just not feeling motivated, you're tired of doing them in the same way, making it a PowerPoint with this template, don't do a PowerPoint presentation this time. Try going in there without any slides and just with a really powerful story. Just sit in there and think about the narrative. What are the points you're trying to get around? around and and just do something different instead of always listening to others around you or just doing what your manager says why don't you challenge them this time around and actually voice your opinion try and see how things go then just change up your routine um, instead of waking up every day at 7 a.m why don't you try waking up at 5 a.m and have those two hours early in the morning to do something that you really enjoy so it could be going for a run or just reading or just having that calm time for yourself or if you work out usually the weekends or in the evenings change it up mix it into your days and see how you perform then. So the point really is that sometimes when you're really feeling stuck and you just don't know what the next move is, doing things the exact same way where you always done and just trying to figure out if you can master that is not going to work. In fact, what works is when you can think outside the box, bring your creativity in and do things that maybe others won't do and see the results then. What it does is it puts you in this mode of experimenting and that creates positive hormones in your body. You get dopamine and you get adrenaline and you learn. So there are three important things that happen when you try something new. Number one, your internal bodily environment changes. As I said, there'll be a there'll be an injection of dopamine, some adrenaline in your body as it recognizes, huh, I'm trying something new here, you know, and you get curious. Number two, you will stand out. So if you feel like no one's been noticing you, your work's not being recognized, people will actually start noticing you and see that, hmm, this is someone who's, who's challenging the status quo. And number three, you begin to experiment and you begin to see learn more about yourself and see what actually works. So instead of just getting incremental improvement in your performance, maybe you can make the quantum leap. And that is what I want to talk to you about, the concept of a quantum leap. So quantum leap comes from 
quantum physics and it really means when an electron gets enough energy kind of instantaneously that it jumps from a lower energy level to a higher energy level and it's very rare it doesn't happen very often and it just happens very spontaneously and scientists or sometimes it's find it hard to explain why did it happen, right? But it's going from a low energy level to a high energy level. So it's a, it's a phrase that I've been introduced to more recently, and I'm really, really fascinated by how we can make a quantum leap in our own personal development, in our career journeys. So you quantum leaping means that you are able to jump from your position where you are to your desired state instantly, spontaneously. It happens way quicker than what your five-year plan or your 10-year plan would allow. What can you do to make that leap? You've probably have people in your life who you've seen done that, you know, who've right, really been able to achieve tremendous success, meet their goals that were very ambitious in a short amount of time. What did they do different? That is the question. I believe everyone can go through this quantum leap. And actually, I'm really um, inspired by this pamphlet that I came across by this person called Price Pitchard, and it's called U Squared. Um, it's, it's, you can't find it so easily, but you can find an electronic version of it. So I thought I'd read you a small passage from it for your inspiration for this week. It says, Quantum leap requires paradoxical behavior, unusual moves, actions that on the surface seem to contradict common sense. As human beings, though, we ordinarily go with the obvious. We fall into the habit of relying on behaviors that seem to have worked best for us over years. When we take an approach that seems to be very serviceable and which enables us to perform well and succeed, we become very attached to it. We don't readily re relinquish the habit pattern. In fact, there's a tendency, tendency to follow our favorite approach more and more often, such that we get better and better at handling things a particular way. This certain approach results in over-dependence on the strategies and tactics it involves. We resist new maneuvers because we it makes us feel clumsy, awkward, and mere at risk. If you want to accelerate your rate of achievement rapidly, you must search out and vigorously employ new behaviors. That's what I'm talking about. Do something different, really challenge yourself and get out of your comfort zone. Apply new attitudes. You must be willing to break out of your routine in order to make the quantum leap. The thing that worked for you in the past very likely could sooner or later lose their serviceability. But if you try to experiment and do things a little differently the way I've been telling you in this video, see what happens. Become curious because it might just lead to a quantum leap and you might be able to achieve those goals that you have in your five-year plan way quicker. It says, Ordinarily, you will find that trying harder produces only incremental gains, not quantum leaps. And that might be fine if you're going for incremental gains. But if you're really looking, if you're really inspired to make the big leap, you need to try to do things differently. Also, keep in mind that trying harder sometimes offers little more than a straight path to burnout. Attempting to succeed through more of the same being resolute and relying on committed effort can blind you to better pathways. And I think that's a big trap a lot of people get into is that they just feel like they have to put in more hours and all it does is leads to burnout. I believe when you're on the path to success, it should feel good. It should not feel like a lot of effort. It should energize you and not be draining you. So think about it. What are you doing in your current life today that's draining you, taking your energy away, and it feels like a lot of effort? How can you bring more joy into what you're doing? How can you really shuffle things up, do things differently? And then maybe, just maybe, you might actually make a quantum leap. 
let me know what you think. I mean, it is a pretty abstract idea and I'm trying to just shorten it here in a 10 minute video, but it's something if you're really curious to explore more with me about, I'd love to do some more videos on this topic on what can we do to really figure out how can we do things in record time and really, really exceed our past performances. Thank you for joining again today and hope you have a fabulous week and please do leave any comments on the exchange form. I'd love to get your feedback. Have a good week and bye for now.